Well, when we look at our, our data distributions, if we do a histogram and we look at the shape of the distribution, remember we can have a skewed right, we can have a skewed left, and we can have this thing that we're, we're calling normal or mound shaped. When we have a shape of data like this, where it's mostly symmetric on both sides of the mean and the median and the mode, which are all pretty close to the middle, then we can talk about what, what, what we can look at for the distribution. Then we can talk about this shape of this data distribution and what that's going to tell us in terms of analyzing our data. And as our data sets get bigger and bigger, we looked at a bunch of small data sets because they're easy to calculate by hand. We went to some a little bit larger and used the calculator to help us. But when we get really large data sets, then our histogram tends to get to this really smooth kind of shape like this. And um, we have a better description of our data as our sample size in increases and it'll eventually look smooth, so I'm just kind of skimming through here. If this smooth curve is known to be symmetric, where you have the mean, median, and mode all co-located, all, all three of them together right there at the center, and the shape looks sort of like this, we think it will be a mound or a bell shape, and we have a rule. It's called the empirical rule and it gives us approximations for how much data is going to be in each area from one, two, and three standard deviations away from the mean. Those are like normal measuring markers for us that we find that median, we don't really care about the median for this distribution because we really want to know what's the mean and what is the size of the standard deviation and the standard deviation gives us chunks away from the mean that we can look at. And what we do is think about our mean being right here. So this is, is our mean, either mu or x bar. And then we think about this distance here as being one standard deviation. Okay, and when we're talking about one standard deviation away from the mean, we could go to the left or we could go to the right. So over here, we also have one standard deviation away from the mean. And as we go further and further away, you can see here we're talking one standard deviation on either side of our mean. Here we're talking about two standard deviations away, and then here three standard deviations away from our mean. And so we have more and more of our data is showing in each of those chunks of measurements away from our mean. Okay, so we know that approximately 68% of our data is going to be from the mean plus or minus one standard deviation. And you can look at it with formulas. It'll look something like this. Here is your population mean, and you take away one standard deviation or add on one standard deviation, and you're going to get from here to here. And this chunk in red is going to be 68, that's our rule of thumb from empirical, 68% of our data. If you come all the way out two standard deviations away, and here I'll give you an example with the sample data. There's our sample mean, and we add one standard deviation for the sample, or we subtract one standard deviation from the sample, and then we go one more. So now we're doing not just one, but we're going from our mean one, two standard deviations away, and in the right, on the right side, one, two standard deviations above. So we get this big green region here, and that region will have 95% of our data. If we have that nice mound shape that's symmetric on both sides for our distribution, we can make the conclusion that 95% of our data values are in this green area. And that's within two standard deviations. Finally, the purple area is almost all of our data and it's coming way out here to three standard deviations lower and higher than whatever our mean is. We add on some standard deviations and we know that 99.7% of our data is going to be in that purple region. And we can say 99.7% or nearly all of our data will be within three standard deviations above and below the mean. So these are rules of thumb 
that we get from empirical rule and it tells us the percent of data from our, our sample or from our population that we expect to be near our mean or spread out in these different intervals away from our mean.